In this video, we're back for some more BFP cards here in free power ups, and we're going to be continuing the series of winning with every power tier. Of course, if you haven't seen the previous videos where I did tier 4 powers and also tier 2 aggro powers, uh, you can go check that in the playlist uh, that's in the playlist section of my YouTube channel, of course. And uh, yeah, today we're going to take care of tier 3 aggro powers. I have some great uh, options for loadouts that we can be running. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So here we are against Zoro. I would be surprised if in this video I break the 100% win record that we've had with um, Agro Powers so far. Yeah, this is from earlier today. Don't mind it too much. We're not going to be using those tier fours. So we get Ice Flow. That's actually a great map. I want to go quick shot Team Tarst and copy Eco here. Uh, because yeah, of course, we do still have access to tier threes, which include the lord and savior of aggro powers which is team taristan we also have access to eco choke we have access to knockout still tower blindness it's pretty good uh we have access to upgrade balloons if we want jam packed uh improved balloon boost also an option we have access to improved eco boost mostly and copy eco and salted and that's pretty much our options we also have acid if we want uh always things that we can consider so okay we should be winning this pretty easily because <laughs> yeah it's ice flow we have copy eco and he's very obviously killing and uh we have quick shot team tower stun which of course is super strong against passive sub loadouts so yeah really really nice to see here that uh that he's playing sub and ecoing because of course we have our copy eco which is gonna net us pretty much infinite money eventually so Definitely very, very good to take. So yes, Super Eco Boost has his first power. That makes the most sense, yeah. I uh, didn't expect much else. And uh, now we're just going to be saving up his Eco Choke. All right. Uh, that, that's interesting, actually. Eco Choke, sure. Well, uh, that's actually very good for me, I just realized. Because that means that he has one less passive power. And we're not going to be drained anyways. We're going to make infinite money from the... Um, from the copy eco and the fact that he's ecoing, so yeah, really nothing to be worried about here. Uh, since frankly, getting inf infinite money like despite eco choke is not going to be difficult in the slightest. Uh, he's going to be super eco boosting again. I'm just going to copy eco at 123 maybe, unless eco chokes now. He doesn't. We just copy. Cool. That's 400 eco. Uh, but yeah, if he eco choked, I would have just waited an extra. Um, an extra six seconds uh, before uh, copying the eco that way he ecoed a bit more into me uh, while i couldn't receive any eco whatsoever it's just slight optimization uh but yeah we're now at 400 eco we still have one more copy left over which i'm very much gonna enjoy using gonna upgrade this to faster shooting just to make sure that we install of course this boat here on last is just here so that it installs every round like that's the only reason why it's here Otherwise, it wouldn't even be placed down in such a bad spot for defending. Like, the spot that I have here, right? This is a good spot for defending, especially on close. But this one, its purpose is literally only anti-stall. Like, it's very bad otherwise. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be eco-choking again. It really doesn't hurt me much. Like, I have copy eco against an eco strat. I'm going to be okay. But yeah, I'm going to finally sell my anti-stall buccaneer. Only to replace it back, of course. <laughs> and yeah, I think I can probably copy now. So I'm going to be doing that. 524 eco, pretty cool. He's going to be super eco boosting. Probably going to be sending more at me as well. I wouldn't be too surprised. Uh, but yeah, we did copy 528 eco. And we have so many Cobra Farms. And so much eco on our hands. Despite the eco show that was at play earlier. So... That's really, really good to see for sure. Uh, also, since he has Eco Choke, the problem he means is he means his third power is damage boost. So we can just actually quick shot like now, right? Gonna be Eco Choking again. Really no point because then we can just do this and this. And he's dead. <laughs> he has Lightning as a third, okay. And goodbye. Not quite. Not quite goodbye just yet. But yeah, his third power is of course lightning. Uh, I guess not, not completely unexpected, pretty much. But yeah, what I can do is just wait to offensive push around 16 ceramics and then uh, 
or even round 15. I don't know if I can do round 15 uh, group ceramics, but if I can, then I just win the game on the spot. Because uh, it's very, very early to do that, and I just instantly send infinite quick shotted, uh, quick shot ceramics at him, like it's just free win. Uh, I don't know if I can, I might be able to. So, right, let me try this. Maybe I can, yeah. Oh shoot, I can. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Jesus, that was violent. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> GG's to Zara. Let's move on to the next one. And here we are against Vade now, so... Let's check the map, see what strats we can bring. I think I'm gonna bring something different than Queen Shotty and Tarstan this time. He's gonna be ship skipping Shipwreck for me, thank god. And yeah, I'm gonna be able to play Acid instead of, um, of Quick Shot this time around. So uh, definitely a very good short map strategy here. Uh, the only difference, of course, is that uh, aside from the not having Super Eco Boost, that's really the only difference that we're gonna have here uh, in comparison to the meta. Otherwise, this is the meta strategy, right? Uh, for short maps. The only thing that can really count this that I can think of is like some really well played passive, else you just mirror the strategy. Uh, but yeah, it's still really tough to play against if you're running passive strategies. So uh, that's why I recommend like the best thing you can do is just mirroring the strategy, except that with improved eco boost replaced by super eco boost, of course. Since uh, that's a strict upgrade, if you have super eco boost, please don't go using improved eco boost. That's really stupid to do. Just use super eco boost instead. You're gonna have an easier time making money. And uh, we do enjoy free money from just having a slightly better power. Unfortunately, though, uh, we don't have access to that since we're restricting ourselves to tier 3 powers. And uh, hopefully, uh, once we get down to the lower power tiers, it doesn't nerf me enough that I can't win anymore. Because, yeah, all these games, I just want to point this out, all, the, all these games are going to be... Um, are going to be BFB Coliseum that we're going to be doing in this series. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, something to keep in mind is that we're not going to get the easiest opponents every time. It looks like he's ecoing though, so I don't know why he could be running. Probably something like Dotling Boomer and some third tower like Ninja or something like that. Really couldn't tell you. It's not the best that you can bring on this map though if you want to run passive. You should probably run something like NG Farm Spike Factory or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be going for more bananas now. This uh, this boomer is going to help me with the anti-star because, I mean, I don't know why he's anti he's anti-starring rounds himself since he's ecoing, but yeah, if we both anti stall rounds are going to go by faster than if only one person anti stall so definitely worth it to get up this boomer. Besides, we're going to need it for uh, for the greens that he's going to be sending now, so yeah. Like right now, it's needed for defense straight up. Like this, this defense is barely going to hold on for the greens, so... Definitely was worth to get up this boomerang early on, but yeah, just gonna be using my last improved eco boost and trying to clutch up on some of these lives. There we go. Now we're gonna be sending ourselves uh, some greens with him, of course, while he doesn't have the money from having ecoed so much. And he has bomb. What? <laughs> so confusing, but I mean, he does what he wants, I guess. Gonna be sending some blacks here, try to force some leaks, there we go. Now gonna just send some yellows and he gets up his cluster bombs, completely fair. So yeah, you don't really want to send much of the cluster bombs in the dotling, like that's gonna defend pretty much anything, right? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be going for the 0-0 zero zero farm. Not trying to greed too, too hard, but it looks like he's just getting up defense, so we can greed. And if I can, I'm just gonna be going for my second plantation. I'm not afraid of anything like self freeze or whatever because I do have assets, worst comes to worst, but yeah, now we should be affording uh, even if he tries to rush. It looks like he's replacing his bomb in a better spot, but his spot was fine to begin with. I don't know why he replaced it. Uh, either that or he sold it to get, I don't know, the Moab Moller cross path. I'm just confused by that play. His bomb was in a fine spot, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, Dotling Bomb, definitely not the best thing he could be bringing to the table to try to defend here. So, uh, we're gonna be sending a single or regular lead and he's gonna get up his camel lead detection to that. We're sending another one and just gonna spam Zebras at this point. 
Of course, I'm gonna get up my bionic myself just to be okay, to any rushes. And okay, he has tags, so I'm just gonna be spamming camos at that. And gonna team tower stun, and that should be it. Cool! So yeah, we take uh, a very quick, easy win here against Vader, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, and here we are against Popper14. So this guy loves running Knockout Salted, and I forgot the third power, but he loves running Knockout Salted. We're just gonna be going Super Eco, sorry, Improved Eco Boost, so used to Super Eco Boost. But we're gonna be going Improved Eco Boost with Darkling, of course, gonna try to prevent the Salted. Uh, just gonna play to prevent it, prevent any leaks whatsoever, pretty much. Just gonna be doing that, and uh, gonna drain him that way, and then win off some quick shot team towers and rushes. I don't know what his third power is, I think it was Glue Storm, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, Glue Storm is the one thing I remember. Although it could be something like a damage boost, he could switch it up as well. I, You never really know. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be going Boat, Eco. He always Eco, has come to think of it. I should have probably just went Copy Eco, whatever. I'm just going to be uh, trying to drain using uh, using this improved Eco boost to mine here. It's not much, but yeah, if I brought Copy Eco and like, let myself get salted on, uh, he would be getting more, more money out of me, and he has a strategy that allows me, so I definitely don't want to give him money at all, but yeah. I'm uh, just going to wait for him to use some powers before actually getting up any extra defense. Although we very much would uh, get up a second dawdling if he were to use Assaulted or a Knockout. Uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much the plan. Okay, there we go. He's going to be getting up... Um, that salted of his, of course. Oh, and we're leaking, Jesus. <laughs> Everything went according to plan. He totally didn't get the salted because I totally could sell my dawdling and managed it. All right, whatever. Just, I always defend salted. I don't know why I, I'm not defending right now. I just suck, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, well, this is just gonna be fine now. We're, we're gonna be fine with the two dawdlings. Not, nothing is gonna go for any more trust. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna work out for you, buddy. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna be going on about my life. I really shouldn't have leaked those 10 lives, but I suck. It's, it's okay. That happens. Sucking that the game happens sometimes, what they say. Probably has glue or something like that. I don't, I don't exactly know. Uh, you think he re knockouts? Like to try to get another salted. That would be funny if he did. But yeah, just gonna be getting up my boomerang now here. And now we should be fine if he sends you all to this. We just sell that dotling for um for a ricochet. If he sends too much, but now he doesn't, so we're okay. Anyway, just gonna be waiting now. He's not able to send enough. He has Wizard as a third tower, which is interesting. But yeah, he definitely can't send enough to force anything at me, so that's pretty good. Um, it's just gonna be spamming those sends though, Jesus. It's not gonna do anything though, because double dotling OP. Okay, now we're gonna be getting the Ricochet finally. But yeah, now I'm gonna go for this. Just go for this as well, and go for this. And now we're gonna be fine. Cool. So uh, at this point, just rushing with Quick Shot Team Towson is probably not the smartest choice because, I mean, we do have, um, we do probably like expect a Blue Storm or something like that, right? Oh, and we do expect a Tax Shooter as a third tower as well. <laughs> That's also something to expect here. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna be rushing with regular zebras. I'm gonna try to be mindful of his knockout rushes. Oh, he has lightning as a third. What? Okay, that's free. And there we go. He's dead. All right. <laughs> pretty easy dubs here. Pretty easy dubs. <laughs> I totally expected Blue Storm. Lightning was very unexpected from him. But yeah, GG's to Pop Pro. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and here's I Hate Dot. So, <laughs> let's see what we can make work against this, against this guy. Whoa, that's a lot of top 1000s and top one and top 10,000s. Jesus. Um, this is just an OG. Wow, surprise. Uh, anyway, 
So he's on, or he is on interchange, no thanks. Probably gonna be going quick shot eco choke, I think, with some Cobra gameplay here. Something like tax up Cobra. Definitely don't expect, um, don't expect aggro out of him, so. Yeah, just gonna be doing this pretty much. Uh, I could be running bomb, but I don't like the idea of bomb just in case by some miracle he's running aggro. Don't really want to try my hand at it. Uh, but yeah, gonna be going for this Cobra right here, another one right here. And he has tack, okay. Pretty funny stuff, because we have, I think, one of the best count strategies to tag Village Ninja. So I hope he doesn't have glue, because yeah, he could also be running glue. I hope he's not running glue, man, oh my god. Don't, don't even make me think about it. <laughs> Alright, gonna be fitting my tag right here. I'm gonna be going for the faster shooting upgrades, both of them. And yeah, we should be fine to those reds that he's sending here, thanks to the upgrades. Um, those Cobras should clutch up on the leaks here. Gonna be using my improved eco boosts. And yeah, we're just gonna be getting the Power Blade Shooter next. There we go. And now we're gonna be A-OK -okay on the anti-star, A-OK -okay on, uh, on the defend. Uh, Cause yeah, attack is just broken like that. Yay, broken early game tower. We love it. So yeah, we're gonna be eco in once more, since we have the ability to wipe prevent ourselves. And yeah, just gonna be ecoing on at this point, cause uh, we got up what we needed. Uh, yeah, those pinks are not scary thanks to Cobra being broken. Uh, when it comes to dealing with with space early on. Like, Cobra is just broken. It's actually stupid. It doubles as a, as a farm and as a spaced popping power. So it's really, really good. Uh, of course, that's why you want your Cobras targeted to strong always. But yeah, there we go. We could choke once more. And now we're going to be going for some greens. Uh, since we can eco with them at this point. He's going to be getting them more defense. All right, cool. Definitely want that. Although that's completely unnecessary for him because, I mean, we literally have um, have tag and tag just so those greens by default. But yeah, he did some interesting layer here, layering here. So I like that play. But yeah, attack on this map is broken. We're not gonna be struggling into it at all. And yeah, just gonna be going for some more um, for some more covers here. Uh, to deal with those uh, space blacks that he's sending. You can see how thanks to the Cobra we're just completely fine to those space blacks. Normally we would leak if we had like only display shooter we'd be leaking but we have Cobra and Cobra is just helping out so much because it doubles as a farm too that's why it's so good. But yeah it looks like he's gonna be going for his tax prayer really early. He could be going way more than this but it's just choosing not to which is I mean fair enough right? Because, yeah, this strategy does have some problems uh, when it comes to dealing with quick shot, uh, especially because of Eco Choke. You don't have a lot of money to, to maneuver around. Uh, with uh, with Tag Shooter, uh, Eco, of course, you don't have a lot of money to maneuver around when you have uh, Eco Choke in play uh, on the opposing side. So I totally get him. Of course, we're not able to anti-stall that efficiently because Cobra on this map is not anti-stall, unfortunately. So we only had three minutes, 30 seconds, uh, around 10, around that, N not really, but yeah, we're against passive here. So thankfully, since we have sub on this map against passive, we won't need like any extra defense until uh, round 18 shows up where uh, we can just Maelstrom at that point. So that's really, really good. You definitely want to see that. Uh, however, I mean, he's keeping up his um, his blade shooter over here and not like full on ecoing. So I cannot do anything against this dude, um, despite having quick shot. Our quick shot was only there to uh, punish if he got too greedy, but yeah, unfortunately we're not gonna be able to use it. So we're just gonna be going for some very early BFBs and try doing using those. Uh, I think I'd probably safely do around uh, around 17, maybe even around 16 if I'm feeling really greedy or like 
adventurous, I suppose you could say, but we can try around 16 BFBs, wouldn't that be funny to be fair? <laughs> I think with Super Ecoboost would have a bit more of a chance already, but Tag just allows you to greet so much and the rounds could stall a little bit, so it's possible. Can happen, maybe. So far it looks like we're on track for it. But he's only mixed ecoing, which is, I mean, it's definitely the play, don't get me wrong, but it's just boring, Jesus. Like, how hard can you mix eco? Come on now. Like, <laughs> okay, this just needs money to defend the rush that I'm gonna do against him. I mean, it's fair, it's how you should be playing, but goddamn, is it boring? Okay, just gonna be selling all my Cobras now. Gonna go for the double BFB round 16. There we go. Maybe placing all my Cobras back. Oh my god, he has Super Monkey. Jesus. No way you're running Tag Village Super. That's very unexpected. All right. So he's gonna be damage boosting, of course, to be expected. Gonna be quick shotting here. He has acid, of course, so my quick shot is gonna it's not gonna do anything to him, but yeah, Jesus. If he defends that, I already know what I'm gonna do. Is Tag Village Super really gonna beat my strategy? I hope not. I blame it on not having Super Eco Boost if I lose. Okay, we win. <laughs> cool. Super Eco Boost would not have made a difference, just for the record. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And here we have this dude, which I don't know how to pronounce the name of, so I'm not even going to do it out of fear of, um, absolutely, um, how can I say this? Absolutely, uh, slandering the name, right? That's the, that was the thing I was looking for, slandering the name. So we're going to be going Eco Choke, Salted, and uh, lots of glue here with Bobby Cobra, I think. Is that all? Hmm, I don't really know. Says Sia, looks like he's mad. Okay, we're gonna be doing this instead. Eco Choke, Lightning Improved Eco Boost, there we go. I would be running Dual Eco Boost but on this too because I kinda expect Copy Eco, but whatever, man. Um, just gonna be going with Improved Eco Boost here. So yeah, the strategy of course, super, super strong against anything um, in the game, pretty much. Like this, this free power up strategy is so broken. And tier 3 power still allows us to run it, which, uh, thank god, technically this is aggro because, yeah, most definitely not a passive loadout since you want to max anti stall and uh, try to send drain rushes. So, yeah, some people can consider this passive, I consider it aggro, you do you. Anyway, I did think that he sent here. Yeah, it looks like he did, cool. So he got up the 9 stance at the right time. It's nice, we're gonna be installing the rounds that way. And yeah, it seems to be max anti stall. Cool. I'm gonna be improved eco boosting here. He laughs because wow, improved eco boost. Haha, <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I'm not taking you seriously. Now what? Looks like he's just max ecoing. Jesus. What is he doing? You should not be max ecoing right now. What is Buddy on? Whatever. I'm not gonna question it too much. Uh, anyway, just gonna be going for my sprockets now. There we go to a max anti stall no matter what he chooses to eco with and yeah we're gonna be keeping on placing those farmers here i know it's weird but it's necessary trust uh necessary to optimize my trap placements okay it's necessary anyway gonna be improved eco boosting again and since he's definitely not uh running copy eco because he kept sending loose enemy the entire game I'm just going to be using my improved eco boost here. Uh, although I didn't see an eco power on his side still, but that's fine. Uh, if he sends Lax to me, okay, yeah, he does have super eco boost. I probably just didn't notice it, and he probably used it on round four, which, uh, my bad. It's probably what happened. Anyway, uh, so we're not worried that those blacks here are free as rockets boosted. Uh, sentries are going to allow us to be fine here. I forgot to go for my more bananas. That's a bit of money miss, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to be going for my plantation, then my... Uh, then my fast engineering. There we go, and now we're gonna be fine to anything really. Uh, that he could be sending us, so we're just gonna be sending some greens here to layer in with that with that round seven AI, and he's probably gonna be getting up just pull to that now. Oh, he doesn't, and just chooses to leak a bajillion lives. Fair enough. 
Oh, he gets it out now and sets it on first. That's funny, Jesus. <laughs> All right, just gonna be greeting on, and if he sends at me, be my guest. I have lightning. I'm not worried in the slightest about you sending at me. Yeah, be my guest, Brody. Be my guest. All right, and now I'm gonna be sending at him since it's round nine. It's round nine. Yellow is gonna go through. Uh, against Dot here, so definitely got sand. He damage boosts, cool. And he looks like he's dying, Jesus. Uh, not quite, three lives, alright. Probably has acid as a third, I'm guessing. Yeah, he does, alright. Cool. I'm just gonna be using my lightning here. Uh, make sure that I'm okay. Uh, to all those sends and yeah gonna be spamming white to him now and hopefully he dies from this because he's too drained yeah nice cool so uh gg's to this dude and let's move on to the next one and here we are again sam sation uh of course uh that that's sam sation the the average bfp calls cm opponent poor guy all right Let's see what we can do against him. I'm gonna try to switch up the strats here. Of course, quick shot team Taro stun, definitely a very good play to play aggro. Uh, aggro strats here, but you know what? I'm gonna go for a Rebloom's knockout instead. Because why not? We have options since this dude is not the greatest, but I could even go salt. You know what? I'm gonna go for salt. Sure, we can go the strategy actually. It's the Moa Pit strategy, but it can work here because. Um, his profile tells me that he doesn't have a lot of the experience with the game, so... Yeah, we're definitely gonna be attempting to make this work. It would be funny if it does. This is not a good strategy, by the way, to, to win games. Uh, if I lose, it's my fault for getting a bit too confident and wanting to show a bit of, var of variety in the strats. But... You know what? We're gonna make it work. It's fine. Trust. Trust we're gonna make it work. It's gonna be okay. If he goes, I'm gonna get my powerful dots right away. If not, I'll just get my Cobra. There we go. Just gonna be getting this up. Oh, and he has farm, all right. Just gonna be sending red to him then. And hopefully, yeah, he gets up his more bananas. Nice. Definitely love to see it. He should be leaking here if he cannot get up his grape shot right now, which doesn't look like he can. That's very, very good. Uh, yeah, he's definitely gonna be leaking here. So we're gonna be taking the salt, uh, of course, right now. And we got a full salt. Awesome. So that's already one max salted uh, that we got off, which is really, really good for the money. I might even straight up try to rush him around round six with double upgrade. That would be funny if it works. Now, you know what? I expect that he has lightning at least. So I'm not going to be I'm not going to be attempting it. I'm just going to be doing the round 10 rush instead or even round nine since we got a full salt here. But. I could even single upgrade here on round uh, on round six if I really wanted to, but don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, he's probably just gonna get up more defense. We can just knock out though. Like we can knock out pretty much now. And see if that goes through. It could. Oh, it looks like it is. Cool. Yeah, nice. We got another full salt. And he's leaking a whole lot. Oh, he surrenders. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, GG's to Sam Sation. <laughs> Let's move on to the last one. And here we are for our last game of this video against Fred Levy. So uh, yeah, since this is the last game of the video, if you guys made it this far, please consider the usual stuff, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, that's two presses of a button. They're both completely free. Don't take up much of your time. Don't take up much effort. And on my end of things, they help me out so, so much. Like to get YouTube to recommend these videos for more people, etc. cetera. So uh, yeah, please, please consider it if you made it this far into the video because that means you probably like it, liked it, right? So uh, yeah, best way to show me support, some support for, uh, for making this video. You know what to do. Anyway, he's gonna be going glue. Hmm, that's annoying. Definitely don't want to see glue eco here, but whatever, we'll make things work. Uh, so yeah. Uh, also, if you want to talk to me or if you want to join my clans, things like that, 
Uh, all the information on that is in the Discord server, which is in the description of, uh, of this video. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely go check that out if you're interested as well. Um, all right, just gonna be spamming reds at him, going for my grape shot. I'm gonna just set it to close, of course, um, to get some anti-stall going. Yeah, this part is definitely most optimal if you wanna anti-stall the rounds. Uh, so definitely do use it uh, if you want to anti-stall against anybody But yeah, we're just gonna be spamming some eco at him because I mean, yeah It's pretty much as if we were ecoing right now, but against glue it's super super strong to do so um, He's gonna be glue storming. He has glue storm with glue. That's shocking But yeah, we forced that very very early on him because uh, glue start is definitely not the best start in the world. So yeah, really, really good for me. Uh, we went for a faster shooting because he was sending a lot of pinks and eventually with this spot, unfortunately, a lot of it goes through. If you were to play, place your boat, say here, you would be leaking a lot less, but you also wouldn't be anti-stalling, which is really, really bad. Since we're running an aggro strat, we definitely want to drain by installing rounds. Uh, but yeah, unless he has double splatter, which he doesn't right now, of course, greens are going to be effective. He got sub double splatter, but that splatter is targeting the AI instead of the send balloons. So, uh, we're actually getting a fair amount of, uh, of greens by here. So we're going to be definitely quick shining some blacks in now. Sending some pinks over top, of course. Going to be uh, improved eco boosting. I almost said super again, but it's not super eco boost. It's improved eco boost. Uh, and he's leaking super, super low. We get the second glue storm out of the way and he dies. That's the end of today's video. Jesus. Quick shot in dust and OP. Let's go. So yeah, GG's to Fred Levy. That's the end of today's video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and of course, leave a comment to this video uh, in the comment section down below. Tell me why you thought of it, what was good, what was bad, uh, to help me improve, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's gonna be it for today. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. And have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.